Hey everyone, thanks for joining me again. It's Juliet Grandma's Creations and the gadget I have for you is something I've been working with this week. Here it is. It's this. It's a ruler that adds a quarter, quarter of an inch. You can measure and add a quarter of an inch to anything you're doing. I was actually doing this foundation paper piecing project with Crafty Monkeys and Ingrid from Joe, Jane and May. At the weekend, we did this Lotus block foundation paper pieced it and I'm actually going to make it into a pillow that's why it's cut in a circle but I used this ruler to do that I'll show you how it helps you with foundation paper piecing so this is one of the blocks that made up the lotus and if you've ever done foundation paper piecing you know you work from number one through the numbers two, three, four. So I've already started and I've put M1 and M2 together. And where this ruler comes into its own is when I go to add block three, what I need to do is get a straight line here. So, and I think this is Carol Doak's uh, method, I think. Ingrid also taught us this, but I think Carol Doak um, actually does it this way as well you pop a little postcard or any bit of card and you bend it back on that line and in order to get a quarter of an inch to put your next fabric up against you then pop the ruler you pop the ruler against that card like that and it butts up against the cardboard or the postcard in that ridge there. You can see there's got a ridge there. And you pop it up against there and you that actually holds, helps you hold that ruler in place. And then you can cut and trim that off. And then you get that perfect quarter of an inch. Like that. So then you turn that around and you place your next piece of fabric along that line, making sure that you've got enough to cover the shape M3. Then you put your next bit of fabric up against that line you've just cut a quarter of an inch. That way you get a seam allowance behind your foundation paper piecing of a quarter of an inch. And then you can bend your shape down, there's M3. Bend it down and you can see that this under here will definitely cover that shape. I'm going to have plenty, plenty of fabric because that's where it always catches people out, catches me out as well. That and putting your fabric up the right way. So then you just sew along that line. So you'd sew along that line like I have done here. And then it's really, really important to press. So there it is, pressed back. Now you wouldn't necessarily use these colours together. I'm just doing it as a demonstration. I want to use as different fabrics as possible to make it stand out. There's one more to do. So we turn this over and now we're doing this thin triangle here to complete this part of the block. So again, we get our postcard or our card of some sort. And because we're doing between three and four, you hold it along the line between three and four and you bend it back fold it back like that and then you get your ruler again you add a quarter ruler and you cut along that line you can slide it along you've got the postcard there And 
and there you are ready to do four. So you turn it over, that's where you cut your quarter of an inch, and you place the fabrics right sides together along that line, and then you sew along that line. Once you've sewn that in place, you then press. Then what you do is you just trim all the way around the outside and this part of the block is done. So there we are, the block is done and it's pressed, waiting for the other blocks to be done to fit it together. But how handy is this little ruler at a quarter? Really handy. It also comes with a friend add an eighth so as you can see there's an eighth on this ruler and a quarter on this one so these are handy little rulers and I'm sure they do come as a pair so that's what I use them for foundation paper piecing but I'm sure you've got lots of other uses that you could think of using them or you already do. So if that's the case, please pop a comment on the comments box because we always like to hear from uh, our fellow sewists. And I hope you found that helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.